We find a lot of popular culture in the media. The media are a technologically developed form of human communication where a small number of people mediate reality for us through television, radio, film, print or the internet. The concept of media includes both media industries and communication technologies. The word media also refers to the institutions and cultural products that mediate between us and reality. The media are a multi-billion dollar cultural industry which generates significant employment. They are powerful agents of socialisation because they impart customs and normative values to the masses. However, the media is so pervasive that they often fail to consider the power of the media to influence how we perceive the world. This is where the sociology of the media is useful. When examining the power of the media, we can think through functionalist and conflict theories. Functionalist theorists emphasise how the media fulfil a socialising role. According to this view, in liberal democracies, media should operate as a guardian watchdog, protecting the interests of citizens and attempting to maintain a consensus on values. For conflict sociologists, such as Marxists, the media are understood as a means by which the ruling class achieve its cultural domination and economic exploitation of the working class. In this theory, government and business control the media to convince the masses that the working class should keep spending their wages. The media feed people unending, mindless entertainment to distract them from their unfair conditions of their labour exploitation. The media also avoids social analysis and criticism to maintain the status quo of the ruling class.